What's up guys, today let's take a look at how to set up the triangle choke from the mount position. We have two great examples here of the same technique, first one with Marcelo Garcia and the other one with William Tackett. First off, let me say that this is not really the most energy efficient technique. You gotta have a great grip, great squeezing power and great balance. The easiest way to do the triangle from the mount, in my opinion, is from the modified mount where you work with your gift wrap so you have a better angle to pass the leg over your opponent's shoulder and finish from the top position. I have a video explaining how to do this, I'm gonna put a link here down below in the description. So let's take a look here first with Marcelo Garcia, he's doing a classic half guard pass against Leo Vieira, he has a cross face and under hook, and he's hooking Leo's leg there to free his left leg. See that Leo has his arm here, his hand in between Marcelo's leg, probably he's trying to work a deep half here. So once Marcelo frees his leg, he's gonna land straight into the mount position and Leo is gonna have his arm in between Marcelo's leg, right? So Marcelo is going to the mount and Leo has his arm trapped already, basically in a triangle position. You guys know, one arm and head in between the legs, it's triangle C. So Leo is gonna free his arm for a moment, Marcel is gonna repummel and get over Leo's arm again. So he's basically already in the triangle position. All he has to do is lift now Leo's torso. So that's why we, we talked before, he has to have a super tight here grip, right? Ideally the gable grip, super tight against head and arm here. He cannot lose this arm here, otherwise he cannot pick him up. And in order to pick Leo up, he has to post this leg here. This leg posted is gonna allow him to generate enough power, right? He's gonna posture up, posting that leg up, and he's gonna lift Leo all the way up in order to circle his right leg around Leo's neck. He basically changed the angle a little bit, he's more into a modified mount position. He's not parallel anymore, he's perpendicular, right? perpendicular to have the angle to post the leg properly and to have his right leg around Leo's neck. Let's take a look here very slowly. He's picking him up by the grip, right? So this again has to be extremely tight. As he picks him up, he's gonna throw the leg around the neck, super, super snug there. Leo's arm is still in between Marcelo's leg, so important. The leg that pulls up is the leg on the same side of the underhooked arm, right? Marcelo cannot post this leg here up, otherwise Leo is gonna free his arm, right? So it has to be same side leg, same side underhook in order to lift Leo up and have that tight triangle. See that Marcelo shoots his leg around, he never lets go the grip. The grip still there, it's super tight already, right? He's pulling tight and he's gonna lock the triangle. By the time he locks the triangle, Leo is already tapping because he's super tight. Now let's take a look here at William Tackett. The technique is the same. He has the cross face already. He's starting to use the underhook to climb up and maybe work an army triangle there. His opponent defends well, connecting hand to hand together. And he's gonna eventually let go there and he's gonna lower his left arm way too much here. William notices that and he's gonna step over his arm. As he steps over, he's gonna work on his gable grip here, right? Making sure everything is tight. He has the cross face, he has the underhook, and he just stepped over his opponent's arm into the triangle position. Now, next step, you guys already know, he's gonna post that left leg, posturing up in order to lift his opponent up and throw this leg around his neck. As he goes up, let's see if we capture here, He's posting here his leg, he's gonna go get a little more angle there, perpendicular to make easier to shoot his right leg around his neck. But he decides to let go the gable grip to work on his opponent's arm, right? He saw a possibility there of a, probably a straight arm bar here, or maybe a normal plot on this arm. If he falls to his right or even to his left here, he has the opportunity to work on a plata or maybe even a gogo plata here, shooting his shin over his neck, right? So many options there, but he feels his opponent is defending well or it's too risky, so he's gonna shoot the leg over and he's gonna go back to the grip, to the gable grip now. His feet is crisscrossed, 
he's gonna go to the gable grip and he's gonna roll all he has to do now is connect this leg here a little tighter against his opponent's neck see that when he rolls he actually loses his opponent head on purpose or not it's hard to say here but he starts losing he cannot figure four his triangle well he loses the opponent head so he's forced to work on the shoulder there he tries to regain the arm over the head but he was never able to do it as he falls into the guard with the triangle basically locked here his opponent is going to start defending with his hands around William's hip. Here's a common defense for the triangle, right? If he connects the hands around the hip, he basically separates the shoulder from the neck. He creates that space, making it harder to finish the triangle. But William is working here on the shoulder crunch. That's how he's gonna finish this. But first, he's trying to counter that triangle defense by changing the triangle here to the other side, so kind of figuring for your legs in the wrong way let's say right so with this type of figure four he can bring his shoulder close to the neck but his opponent is very tough he still cannot find the submission there he's gonna actually keep working on that shoulder lock and he's gonna opponent's about to tap there 